Did you know you can just go to Google, switch to image search and type your keywords. Then click on the tools and choose Creative Commons under Usage Rights. And this will show you copyright free images, which you can actually use in your project. Now, you should always double check the license information of each website, but in general, this is pretty accurate. Besides the Google image search, I'll show you my favorite places to get free images, illustrations and videos for your website. Then I'll introduce you to a free tool to edit your images. And at the end, I'll explain how to compress the images for faster website loading times. Tips with punch. Hello internet people, my name is Robert. So my go-to place for images is pexels.com. It has a great image gallery and I use many of their videos. It's a pretty popular site with good search functionality. Then there is unsplash.com, again, a well-known library with lots of photos. As you can see, Unsplash has a bit more artsy images, so it depends on the project if they will fit. Then you have probably the most popular free library called pixabay.com. I mean, it has so many options. The only thing is that they might be overused. That's why I prefer to use some of the smaller sites for my website. For great illustrations, check out illustrations.co, undraw.co or manypixels.co. All of them have hundreds of illustrations you can use in your projects. They use different styles, so you just need to find out uh, which one fits your needs the best. All the links will be in the description. And lastly, if you need any stock videos, then as mentioned, head to pexels.com or you can also check out lifeofvids.com. I think you should be able to find something interesting there. Once you've found images for your project, you probably want to edit them. Maybe add some text, icons, or even filters. That's where you can use Canva. I'll leave the direct link in the description. It's the first link there. I love this tool because it's so versatile. It comes with thousands of different templates for your design needs. Do you need an Instagram template? Check. Infographics? Check. Resume template? Check. Business card templates? Check. And so much more. There's just so many templates you can use. Besides that, the free account comes with many useful features, so you should be able to get started easily. Let me show you how to edit an image and prepare it for your website. So let's say I went to pexels.com and I really like this image because I want to write a blog post about uh, website design. I think this really fits. So if I click on it, I can now here check what the rights are free to use. That's good. And then here at the top, I can just download the big size. Or if I click on this arrow, you can also download the smaller size. So for example, for me, I think I can just get away with the medium one. So I'm going to select the medium, scroll down, download selected size. And now it's downloaded to my computer. Now I can go to Canva. And after signing up, I see on this page, I'm on the dashboard. This is like the homepage of Canva once you log in. And here at the top, if you click on create design, you can also click on edit photos. If you click on that, you can now upload the image we just downloaded. Like this. And now it's asking, okay, do you want to just edit it or use it in the design? Let's say I want to uh, just edit in this case. And once it's done uploading, you can see it's here. You can start editing. You can start editing the image here at the top. If you click on edit image, you will see you have some things to adjust like the brightness and contrast. You have some filters you can use. This image already has some sort of a filter, so I'm not going to use that. And you have other features here. All you have to do is click on this and it will apply to the image immediately. Same thing. There's like more effects here. If you want to use those, I think for this image, I don't really need that. In this case, the image looks quite good. I'm actually happy how it was from the start, but I want to add a title here. So all I have to do is come here and click on the text and now I can search for a certain type of uh, font so here it's suggesting things and you could also try to search for for a thing well, let's say i like this one so i'm just gonna drag it like this and now you can see it appears i don't need this part so i'm gonna just click on it and I click on this delete icon and now i just have the title so i'll type it in so let's say how to create a design now obviously it's way too big. 
I can adjust the font from here and also the size. So let's say I'll just go with 100, something like that. And just to make it pop out from the page, I need to add some, make it bolder and also maybe some effects because right now it is not so visible. So I'll just add background, maybe a bit less like this. Yeah. I'll add a white one like this and I can adjust the transparency of the background, something like this. So it's nice and visible. I could also add a curve. No, okay, no, that, that's quite horrible. So, okay, let's say I'm happy with this. I can also add some elements to this. If I want to make it a bit prettier, I could add, for example, I don't know, like a ribbon or something. So <laughs> I'll just drag this one in the view so I can create some sort of a, a shapes like this one here, or could even be bigger and make a, like a triangle out of it. So something like this. So when you put it on your website, let me make it properly. Something like this. So when you put it on a website, it just looks a bit different than a normal image. But in this case, it doesn't look that good. So I'm going to just delete it. Now I'll just show you quickly how to use Canva here, but I have an in-depth tutorial and you can see it if you click on this YouTube card here at the top right corner of your screen. There you'll just learn much more in depth about Canva and how to use it. And let's say I'm happy with all of this. I can now export this. So all I have to do is click on share. And you scroll down, you have download. Here it's a just PNG, but maybe I'll just uh, take JPEG. Unfortunately, you can't adjust the size here because that's the premium feature, but you can just download this size. And let's do that. I'm going to download it. Okay. Now it's there. Once you're happy with your image, make sure to, that it's also compressed before you upload it to your website. If you're using WordPress, you can just install a plugin called resmush.it, which will automatically compress images when you upload the images to WordPress. For others, you can use a website called tinypng.com. Just upload an image, the website will compress it, then download the optimized image and upload to your website. And you can see that the image sizes is drastically smaller. You might be get up, up to 80% reduction in the size. And this just makes the website load much faster. Now choosing colors for your website can be really hard, but you know what? With the tips and tools I'll share in this video, it's actually pretty straightforward and you just follow a few steps and you're there.